um, take your chance. If you feel you're comfortable with your work, if you feel there's, uh, there are no spaces for you to show up with your work, give it a try. Give it a try to Urban Africa. Um, we will pay attention to it. Um, that's, that's basically it. That's basically it. If you have something Wonderful. important to say, send it through. Let's talk about now the new call. Uh, when does that start? When does it end? Um, yeah. And um, how can people get involved in the next edition? Next edition. So um, it's the, the release will be usually it's the first week, end of the first week of December. And it's like a, it's more or less three weeks to submit. Uh, deadline, as I was saying, is the 31st of December, 1st January, is the end of the year, end of the deadline. So it's easy not to forget. Um, and we have a, 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 on our platform, there will be um, a gate door to the call with a precise description, how uh, you can apply, uh, how you can prepare your materials to upload. The system is fully automatic, so it will drive you through the uploading uh, process. Uh, you have to make sure to have your statement English ready and and have your images ready to be uploaded. That's the main thing. Um, and then it's uh, it's easy, easy, easy process. Um, of course, uh, you can reach out to our email at any time if you have doubts, whatever. Um, sometimes people make mistakes. They want to change an image. They want to add an image. They can reach out anytime. Uh, as I mentioned, the jury process takes, uh, at least two to three months after January. So there's also time to follow up with us and say, Hey, I, will, I thought I would like to change a little bit my statement. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime. Um, uh, so that's basically it. Decide your category. Uh, you can apply and choose and what category you want to apply with your project. Um, to be honest, don't feel stressed for that. Uh, sometime, you know, we, we take the freedom, Patrick, to see, like for instance, there's a photographer who applied for uh, representation space architecture and conflicts. Um, but we feel that that project is also very relevant for people in communities, we might still decide to take it away and put it there and give, give an award for that. So uh, the categories are helpful for us um, to read through and understand what is the main um, topic interest for the photographer. But I think we are all experienced enough uh, out here to understand that maybe the project had impact out of the box. Uh, so do not worry about categories very much. It's just, uh, you know, a way to address uh, the project to us in a, in a more precise way. Um, so you can apply on urbanautica.com? Urbanautica.com, you will see uh, on the homepage, there will be on the, um, right on the top of the homepage, there will be call 23 and that's it. Okay, um, and, and the, it opens December eighth. Uh, cross finger, yeah, that's the idea. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you you open the call December eighth to uh, December thirty first. December thirty first, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Which might change according to the time zones. <laughs> and this is open to any photographer uh, that has a project that they feel is strong enough to be included exactly. in the catalog. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Um, I, I just want to, since we are talking about submitting, I think this would be a great opportunity to kind of share some tips. What, what should, what should people be thinking about if they're thinking about applying and, and putting their uh, project up for consideration? 
Um, I think um, you mentioned it a lot already um, in uh, as as we were going through the podcast itself. But this might be a great opportunity to kind of summarize it. Definitely, Patrick. I think statement is very important. You know, how you you introduce to us the work, because in the statement, uh, we can read a lot of, you know, um, statements sometimes like hidden voice. You know, it's yeah. what uh, we can read through the lines as well. You know, we can appreciate your effort, your energy, your truth, your commitment, your urgency. Um, statements are, are very important. It's not just like a short description of your work. It's really Tell us why you're doing things, why it's important, you know, um, describe the topic, but describe your challenges, describe your aspirations, your ambition with the project. And, and of, of course, do, do upload enough images. Uh, usually we give a, a room for 15 images. Uh, if you feel like maybe you want, you know, uh, submit more uh, work, you can submit a PDF to us, you know, there's more you want to tell, feel free. Just send an email, say, hey, I'm also attaching here a little bit more document. I mean, care, care is the main ingredient. When we feel this care, we do care. If we feel that you're just applying to, ah, that's just another call, you know, then we, we, we feel that that's not so important for you. Not good. That's not a good start. So show your care, show your attention. So this is really you know, your important work, you know, you've been working with that for two or three years, you know, show it, talk about it. Um, and we will feel, we will feel it and we will pay attention to that. And even if you don't, uh, end up in the catalog, you will be shortlisted for sure. And if you're shortlisted at some point, we will reach out to you and say, Hey, look at that. Can I show you something Patrick about this? Because I have a real case to show you about this. Um, let me just step back to our uh, main page of the journal, because this is just something uh, I wrote about um, recently, okay? Um, here, you see interviews, reviews. There's a, a review I wrote myself, it's called The Words of Other, of others, our intention. You know, what is this article about? Um, well, it's the theme of memory. Let me read this. The theme of memory is intrinsic to photography for its inherent dynamic of reproducing the visible, which freezes its traces for posterity or prolongs its existence in some way. Inclusion can therefore concern stories, bringing them back to the surface to attention. So in this piece of text, uh, Patrick, I was willing to write something about inclusion, inclusivity in photography, okay? You know what I did? I picked up from the shortlisted series of works from last uh, annual awards. So these are all projects that were not published in the catalog, but they were shortlisted. So I took a chance to write about inclusivity and to feature their works in this, in this article. So there is the work of Zizis Hadianos, extended documentary about a uh, Soviet town of Noha Huta in Poland. Uh, beautiful work, very clever work. Uh, I featured the work by Carlos Baradas uh, called Alma Foyembora, Navio Foyembora. And it's talking about, it's a very interesting story about the archipelago of Sao Tome Principe in the Atlantic Ocean. You know, that a group of islands during um, the colonial time, Patrick, the Portuguese were taking slaves out of, from Africa and bringing them to the New Americas. They were making pit stop in this island along their routes. And then, you know, something out of this history, very dramatic and conflictual history, remained there. And people that live there, they, they still have this tradition with them, you know. And so there is a kind of interesting mixture between the, the, the Christian tradition and Portuguese tradition, but also the African tradition. 
church, you know, the, the, the myth and the rituals and the spirits. And this is all in the bishops of Carlos Baradas, you know, how you can include, you know, in your work, uh, your documentary, these stories. Uh, there's a beautiful work by Aaron Yendel that was shortlisted last year. It's a portrait to series of the last people of the islands of Guernsey, a UK island that speak the native language. Yes. And I find it so nice. It's a gigantic work, documentary work by Yandel. Um, they also recorded the voice of these people, the last people who are able to speak this disappearing language. You know, how you can include language, disappearing language in your photography work. Uh, and finally, beautiful work by Giovanni Zeta, uh, who was working in a factory in the North industrial area of Italy, uh, ended up making a work about our new workers in the area, uh, that were working with him in the same facility. Um, and that, you know, speak of another important thing, uh, Patrick, you don't have to be sometime a full-time photographer to make a nice story. You don't have to be a full-time photographer to say something that is important for the people out there. You just maybe need to be someone who is sensitive, who can feel the story at his work. And this is a very beautiful story of Giovanni because he comes from a family from this region where a lot of people were migrating in other countries. It was a very poor, the Northeast of Italy was a very poor region. People were starving, literally starving because they had nothing to, to eat. And they were migrating. They migrated to Australia, Americas, Belgium, working in the mines. It's South America. This region has exported people for decades. And now, of course, this region is becoming uh, uh, a very industrial region. There's a lot of factories, production has become, it's a wealthy region. And, and so it's, I love the fact that Giovanni was referring to his tales of his grandparents struggling to uh, survive in this region. And now he's looking at these new people that are coming here to work. Uh, and they're making, you know, contributing to the economy with their hard work, contributing to new stories, new narratives. So you don't have to be in the awards to be, to have a chance to be a future urbanatica. You don't have to be a full-time photographer to have your stories out there. If you have something important to say, we will find it. We will find it. And I think what's uh, the big takeaway for me there is, is uh, if you have a story to tell and, and you've done that through photography, you're perfect for this call. Um, what, whatever, whatever your background is, whatever it is, put together a, a good series of images, have a good story. Well, a, a story that you feel it, it needs to be told and, and submit it and uh, you'll, you'll find a home at uh, Urbanautica. I think that is uh, a wonderful uh, a wonderful way to uh, kind of set up this open call that is for 2023, December 8th, 2023 to December 31st. This is going to be for the next edition of the uh, uh, for, for 2024. And uh, hopefully we'll do another another episode like this uh, featuring the, the artist there and do another call. And uh, I think that is amazing. Is there anything else you want to add that is important details for those out there that are considering uh, applying this year? Um, take your chance. If you feel you're comfortable with your work, if you feel this, uh, there are no spaces for you to show up with your work, give it a try. Give it a try to Urban Africa. Um, we will pay attention to it. Um, that's, that's basically, it. that's basically it. If you have something Wonderful. important to say, send it through. 